Laura was about to drop her son off at school. What she didn't realize was that a series of bad things would happen. Not only did she have to deal with rush hour traffic because she woke up late, and because she changed her route, she got stuck in a traffic jam on the motorway. Worse still, she lost a big client because of the traffic jam and was fired by her boss on the spot. The double failure of her marriage and career made Laura's mood hit rock bottom. But luckily, she still had her son, who could bring her a little comfort. Laura chose to give up the motorway and send her son to school first. While waiting for the traffic light at the exit, something worse happened. When the light turned green, the pickup truck in front of her didn't move. Laura was already in a hurry and depressed, so she exploded. Laura frantically honked her horn at the car in front of her, but it still didn't move. Seeing the green light turn into yellow, Laura changed the road and left. Laura not only honked the horn again when she left, she also made a mocking gesture to express her strong resentment. Little did Laura know that she was in big trouble, because as she waited for the light at the next intersection, the pickup truck followed her. The driver, Dai, rolled down his window and asked Laura what had happened. Danny gave Laura the advice to remind others that they should honk their horns gently. Apparently, Danny was upset that Laura was honking like crazy. That's why he purposely stopped at the traffic light and didn't go away. Danny admitted that he was distracted and apologized to Laura. But Laura's rude honking made him feel very uncomfortable. He wanted Laura to apologize for that too. But Laura, who was in a bad mood, didn't give Danny a good look. If you could just do the same, we could press reset. Ma'am, I was saying if you could just apologize. Yeah, I heard you. Yeah? I don't have anything to apologize for, sir. Mom, it's okay. Just apologize. Laura's reaction made Danny angry. She doesn't know that Danny had the worst time of his life last night. It turned out that Danny had a failed marriage because of his wife's infidelity. Because of this, his career soon hit rock bottom. In a moment of confusion, Danny went to the extreme and took revenge on his ex-wife. Danny's heart was already full of mixed feelings, and then he met the unreasonable Laura. This led Danny to say some pretty harsh things. I don't even think you really know what a bad day is. But you're gonna find out. Hearing these words, Laura began to feel a little weak and scared. When she left the traffic light, she hoped that she and Danny could go their separate ways. But she never thought that what she feared most would happen. Danny suddenly changed lanes and caught up with her. As Danny changed lanes quickly, he came right in front of Laura's car. Laura braked so quickly that she didn't rear-end her car. Danny was satisfied and left. After this horrible scene, Laura decided to change lanes to get away from Danny. She didn't realize that Danny had noticed her intention and turned to stare at Laura. Laura was horrified by the sight. Luckily for her, Danny gave her a warning look and left. Laura changed lanes away from Danny and was relieved to see that she wasn't in shock. Laura got the kids to school without incident. The fiasco was thought to be over, but Laura was shocked when she arrived at the petrol station to fill up. Laura came out of the convenience store and realized something was wrong. Danny came to the petrol station, and Laura was too scared to leave the house. Bob at the convenience store finds Laura in trouble and Laura explains that she is being followed by Danny. Bob tries to help and walks Laura out of the convenience store. He writes down Danny's license plate number and tells Laura to leave. After Laura left, Bob warned Danny in a threatening tone of voice, but he never expected that Danny had gone completely insane. Faced with such a threat, Danny puts the car in gear and hits the accelerator. Bob sees this and realizes the situation is bad. But after being hit by Danny's car, Bob was hit by a fast approaching car. The car can't brake fast enough and almost kills Bob. Laura, who hadn't traveled far, witnessed the incident with Danny in pursuit. Laura's first thought was to call the police, but now she realizes her mobile phone is missing. Faced with Danny's onslaught, Laura could only try her best to run away. Danny quickly caught up with Laura due to the size of his car. When Danny pulled out Laura's mobile phone, Laura realized that Danny had taken her mobile phone in the convenience store. However, while Laura was distracted, a bus suddenly pulled out from the intersection in front of her. Laura hurriedly gripped the steering wheel to dodge and separated from Danny. Laura's car ran into a one-way street and cars were scared to avoid her. A passing lady was almost hit by Laura, but she managed to stop the bus without incident. Laura calmed down and hurriedly found a sheltered place to park her car. Luckily, Danny didn't catch up with her. Unbeknownst to Laura, Danny had changed his plans. Laura searched for her tablet in her bag while preparing to call the police, but before she could find the tablet, a phone rang in the car. It was the phone Danny had left for Laura. Laura had set a passcode on her phone to make it easier for her to use it. Danny learned about the people around her through the messages on her phone. Danny was determined to get back at the people around him. He is determined to make Laura pay dearly for her behavior today. Danny asked Laura to choose the people around her as targets. Laura realized she was scared and tried to apologize. But Danny doesn't care and says it's too late. Laura had no choice but to choose herself. And Danny wouldn't let her. She had to choose the people around her. Human selfishness 
led Laura to target the boss who fired her this time. Laura then hurriedly called the police, explaining her situation and the fact that her boss had been targeted. She herself hurriedly drove back to the school ready to protect the boy. But when the police arrived at Laura's boss's house, they found him safe and sound. It turns out Danny wasn't the target. He was targeting his brother Jack, who lives in Laura's house. Jack had just seen on TV that Danny was wanted for the murder of his ex-wife. And the police mentioned the car Danny was driving. However, Jack soon realized that the car was near his house. He feels something is wrong and realizes that someone has broken into his house. Jack tries to get to Danny with a knife. But his girlfriend is caught by Danny. Jack hurriedly begged Danny to let his girlfriend go. But Danny pushed his girlfriend straight into the knife's mouth. Jack's girlfriend then goes to God. Danny goes crazy and says it's all because of his sister. The road rage incident got out of hand and turned into a murder. Laura rushed to the school when she got another call from Danny. Danny tied up Laura's brother Jack. This time, Danny threatened to bring Laura's kids to him. This time, Danny threatened Laura to bring her children to him or she would never see her brother again and Jack was soon doused with petrol. Annie threatened Jack to write a confession against his sister. Laura had to take the child away from the school, as requested to save her brother. Jack is threatened and writes this confession that makes Laura feel guilty. At this moment, Laura feels remorseful for her impulsiveness this morning, and she can only ask Danny to spare her family. The police notice something strange, and rush to Laura's house to check it out. Faced with gunshots, Danny uses Jack as cover. As the officers called for help, Danny ignited the petrol port over Jack and pushed him out of the house. The officers fired several shots, but Danny managed to escape. But Danny, who had escaped, called Laura again. He said he would find her baby and an angry Laura smashed the phone. Laura took the boy and went to the nearest police station for shelter. To get to the police station, the boy thought of Laura's tablet, through which he could check the phone's location. Since it's the same account, they can't find out where Danny is. The boy looks around the car, but finds the tablet taped under the seat. It turns out that Danny has been using the tablet's location function to find out where Laura is all alone. In order to find Danny's location, the boy used the tablet to reverse track the phone's location. What they didn't realize was that Danny was already with them, right in front of them. He was driving a car belonging to Laura's brother Jack, but then they realized there was a police car in front of them. When Danny wasn't looking, they accelerated to overtake him. They call for help from a passing police car. Meanwhile, Danny spotted them from behind. When the officers noticed Laura's cries for help, he was about to ask what had happened. Unexpectedly, Danny crashed into the police car. The officers rushed to take control of the vehicle and prepared to call for help. Unexpectedly, a fast-approaching lorry sent the officer straight to God. The two were stunned by the scene. At this point, Danny caught up with them and Laura rushed the boy to use his tablet to call the police for help. But before Laura could tell him what had happened, the tablet switched off because it had run out of power. To make matters worse, there's no charger in the car and Laura realizes they're on their own. At this rate, Danny is likely to stop them before they reach the police station. So Laura decided to take the kids to the nearest place grandma's house because they were familiar with the terrain there. With this advantage, they could get rid of Danny. So they set off for grandma's house with Danny in hot pursuit. A passing driver was hit by Danny because he was blocking Danny's way. So <laughs> They were off the motorway and in the city. With Danny still in hot pursuit, Laura was waiting for the right moment when they passed a fork in the road. When they came to the fork in the road, Laura suddenly braked and Danny drove right through it without braking. As Danny was about to reverse, he realized Laura was gone. His mobile phone's tracking signal had disappeared. Danny had to take his time to find Laura. After circling the residential streets, Laura hurried back to her parents' house. Laura opened the underground garage and let the boy hide inside. Once inside, the boy was the first to activate the emergency alarms. Laura found a pair of scissors in the car and prepared to fight back. Soon after, Danny spotted Laura's car, but he didn't realize Laura had been waiting for him. She drove her parents' car and crashed Danny's car into the ground. Laura was armed and ready to kill Danny, but Laura didn't find Danny in the car. Before Laura knew it, Danny was behind her. Danny wasn't trying to kill Laura. He knew the boy meant the most to Laura. Danny kicked the door open and broke in. The boy hiding in the loft was too scared to make a sound, but he didn't realize that just in this tense moment, the boy touched something and made a noise revealing his position. The attic door was suddenly opened and the boy fell backward, paralyzed with fear. Luckily, Laura came to his rescue and it turned out to be a false alarm. Before they could recover, Danny grabbed Laura and dragged her out of the room. After dragging Laura out of the room, 
it quickly grabbed the boy. Seeing this, Laura fought back to protect her child. Danny was knocked to the ground and a fight broke out between the two men. Laura was still being beaten by Danny. Danny got a piece of wire and tried to strangle the boy in front of Laura. At this point, Laura remembers the scissors she took out of the car. With the scissors in hand, Laura went for the kill. She leapt from the bed and plunged the scissors into Danny's eyes. Sending him to heaven, the two of them were finally free of Danny's clutches. And before the police could react, they finally arrived to clean up the mess. Luckily, the police told Laura that her brother Jack was unharmed. After the shocking road rage incident, the girls were ready to drive home. But as they went through a traffic light, a car ran the red light and almost collided with Laura. Laura, using her muscle memory, was ready to honk her horn again to vent her anger. But reason tells Laura to hold her tongue. Good choice. The end of the film tells us, if you choose to drive on the road, you must keep a good attitude. Don't let your impulsiveness cause you to regret it.